Well, it's September, and that means Halloween is two months away. So for the next two months, I'm just reeling to the whole, just everything horror. Uh, horror movies, music, fucking TV shows, just everything horror I'm all about. So what I'm going to do is talk about ten horror-related songs that I just fucking love and I want to share with you guys. And I'm talking not themes or anything, but I'm talking about songs that are just influenced by horror movies. So starting off the list, here we go. Coming in at number ten is Pet Cemetery by The Ramones. Uh, this song was written for the Stephen King movie that came out in the late 80s, Pet Cemetery, and it's just, it's a fantastic song. I mean, you get the Ramones to do a, a theme song for your movie, a horror movie, and you know it's going to be golden, and they don't disappoint. The Ramones Pet Cemetery is number 10, and I recommend you check it out if you like Pet Cemetery or the Ramones. It's a kick-ass song. Coming at number 9 is The Murder Dolls with Dawn of the Dead. Obviously, this is about the movie Dawn of the Dead, and it's a kick-ass song. The chorus is, when there is no more room in hell, then the dead will walk the earth, which is the tagline from the movie, and it's just a fantastic chorus. And the lyrics are all about zombies and Dawn of the Dead, and just check this song out. It really makes you want to go home and watch a zombie movie. Dawn of the Dead, Murder Dolls, number nine. Number eight is Tiger Army with Power of Moonlight. I fucking love Tiger Army. Their, their genre of music is just incredible. It's Psycho Billy, but it's also horror punk, and it just sounds incredible. It's got the fucking upright bass, and you just like a dong a dong You just hear that in the background of every song. And the singer's voice, Nick 13, is so unique, and just everything about this band's great. And this song, Power of Moonlight, is a great rockabilly, psycho billy, horror punk song. Check it out. At number seven, we have Wednesday 13 with the song Haddonfield. Yup, Haddonfield. This song's about Halloween, about Michael Myers, and I fucking love it. The uh, the chorus is, um, this is the night that he came home, so you better not go out alone when there's blood in Haddonfield. And, ah, uh, man, this just whole song is about the movie Halloween, the lyrics are about it, and it's kick-ass. Wednesday 13, actually, is the singer for the Murder Dolls, and this is his solo work, and he's got a whole record just full of, uh, horror movie stuff. He's got a song about Friday the 13th, about American World from London, and they're all kick-ass. I recommend you check all of his stuff out. It's more along the lines of like glam rock, alternative metal, more so than punk, but it's awesome. And at number six, you can't have a horror list without these dudes, and that's The Misfits. But what I chose was, for this one at least, is The Misfit, the Resurrected Misfits with Michael Graves from the mid-90s with the new singer. And the song I chose was Dig Up Her Bones. You know, I love the Resurrected Misfits, you know, they're not as good as the original, but I, I really enjoy them, and this is just a kick-ass song, and just, just check it out, it's, it's fucking awesome, yeah. And at number five, we're gonna change, change pace a little bit, this one's not a rock song, we're gonna go rap with this one, and yeah, tilting towards the song, Keep On Driving by Necro, and I mean, this song, when you listen to it, just the images it goes in your head, this thing's Half Hills Have Eyes, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, just any song, any exploitation from the 70s and the 80s about backwood hicks or just the lyrics on this just cover everything and it's just, you listen to it and it's like watching a movie. It's a fucking awesome rap song about, you know, hillbillies and mutants and all this kind of shit. Just check this song out if you like rap, even if you don't like rap. I don't really listen to much rap, but this song kicks ass. At number four... Back in the rock section, we have Calibri's with Voices of the Dead. Now, Calibri's, in my opinion, are, I mean, they are a very, very modern-sounding Misfits-type band. I mean, I would, I think they're fantastic, and I'd put them alongside the Misfits when it comes to quality, and, I mean, they're, they're a fantastic band, very well-done music, and just check them out if you haven't heard of Calibri's. They're from Arizona, and they are just awesome horror punk. For number three, I chose a cover song because I didn't want to use the same band, you know, multiple times. So this was originally a Misfit song, but I chose the AFI version of Halloween, which both 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 uh, versions are good. But the song Halloween is just anything you can want to hear. It's just a song about fucking Halloween, and it's awesome, especially for this time of the year. You just crank it up. The AFI version's obviously better rec better recorded, and you get it louder and it's better quality. So. Just listen to either or, but I mean, Halloween by AFI slash Misfits. Great, great stuff. At number two, and this is 
my favorite, besides the Misfits, my favorite horror punk band, and that's Blitzkid with Hellraiser. Yeah, the song's about Hellraiser, the movie Hellraiser, and Blitzkid is just fantastic. Check out their stuff, the song, uh, record um, Anatomy of a Resurrection Volume 1, tons of good shit on that, good quality recordings, and just a, a very awesome punk CD, and I love it. And at number one, I chose, of course, The Misfits, but which Misfit song did I choose? I chose Skulls, which is my favorite Misfits song, and I just think it has some awesome lyrics, and it's short and sweet, and just the, the line, hack the heads off little girls and put them on my wall, is just fucking so good. And of course, based on that line, I have to choose it, so these were ten great horror punk songs, horror rock songs, horror rap songs, just horror songs in general that are awesome to listen to around this time. So if you know you want something other than what you're listening to now, you want to listen to some horror stuff, check these out. You guarantee you won't be disappointed.